What's good, y'all? Listen, y'all. Let's talk about this one thing. Ugh. I just want... I want to hug everybody who thought... Who was on this project. Who actually thought of... Let's reboot Swamp Thing. Bless you. God bless you. Whoever was on the team. Wrote the script. Directed the motherfucker. Got the cast. Who did the uh, special effects, CGI, who did the practical effects, and everything. You know what I'm saying? I just want to hug y'all and say, God bless you. Thank you. This right here. Who directed this episode? I got to find out who who's directing this. Let me see. Because who directed and, and wrote this or whatever? Y'all, y'all. Y'all, Swamp Thing is a love letter to John Carpenter's The Thing. Especially this first episode. Especially this first episode, y'all. For sure. For sure. Listen, this uh, this is not going to be long. Uh, we basically set the roots for this. And we're going to see where it do. We're going to see where, where it lay. Alright. Now, first off. The swamp around, uh, what is it, Marie, Mares, whatever, Louisiana, it always been something up with that swamp. And I think even before Sutherland, cause I know that's who it is, Sutherland was putting that, um, putting that, uh, that janky ass fertilizer chemical up in the swamp. I wholeheartedly believe it. It's always been something up with the swamp, and we all know the swamp is the bloodline, it's the life's blood of that town. Right? So, yeah. The swamp always been stunned. So, it's a whole supernatural aspect of it, and all that. And I know we're going to delve into that and all of that this season. So,. Abby Arcane, the chick that played her, she's gorgeous, she's cute, she can act her ass off, because the way her face emotes, you know, get shows what she thinking, emojis and all of that, good. Um, I'm guessing for the season finale, her hair gonna turn white with the two black streaks, is that what we doing? Okay, alright, I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting. Um, homeboy that they got to play, basically... Uh, the human version uh Swamp Thing. Alex Holland. He's cute. He's cute. He's alright. Uh, all the actors they got playing. Because basically they done showed y'all the main cast in this first episode. Now. Madam Xanadu. Who I can't, I can't wait for her, for her to show out. That's being played by the chick that played Jackie. Off of The Walking Dead from the first season. Jarrell Prescott, 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 y'all forgive me, y'all know I forgot words, but, uh, yeah, Virginia Madison, listen, that's an old head actress right there, right, she's the wife of Avery Sutherland, now, the Sutherlands, they, that's old money, from what I'm getting, that's old money, and um, the Sutherlands, I think they took Abby in when she was younger. So Marie Sutherland, she don't see it for Abby. She hates Abby to her core, and we learn about that, you know, dealing with Marie's own daughter. And for what uh, Abby said that, you know, I killed her. I was like, well, damn, bitch. I just stopped the woman with just crotchety and she was just mean and everything. But if you said you killed her daughter, then I could see why. I could see why she hate your damn guts, girl. So, yeah. Now, her husband, Avery, played by Will Patton. Will Patton. He can act his ass off. That's an old head, too. Listen, you can tell he ain't nothing. He ain't nothing but slick like snake oil. You can tell he ain't nothing shit. You know. 
and it seems with him seems like he got beef with the swamp I know that sounds crazy but you know when they had that uh, a town hall meeting and the mayor of the town which is that's another uh, well known actor too who name I just cannot think of but I seen him in, in a lot of shit he you know he said the swamp took my daddy now like Oh, so you got beef with the swamp. That's what it is. But he's looking to make money off the swamp. You know, try to take his resources. But basically, the swamp, she's like, mm -mm, bitch, no, no. I could basically show you, but I could tell you how I'm going to fuck all y'all over. Leave me the hell alone. That's just basically what the swamp is saying. Because we could tell from the beginning. Especially when the swamp killed them three. And especially how the swamp did that brother. The swamp made the brother into a goddamn monument and into a warning to anybody who motherfucking trespass on her motherfucking land. You see what happened to him? Y'all can get you get the same treatment or worse. So yeah. Now what is going on with that town? Here's my thing. Now Abby, she a CDC doctor. You know that thing. She was in Africa. She got called back. Go back to her hometown because there's this epidemic that's popping off. Now, if we go back, if we go to the scene where Alex, basically Alex is, was working for the Southern, for Avery Southern. And, you know, Alex was bringing up, you know, it's an epidemic. You know, uh, this could be deadly. His thing, uh, Avery was like, listen, it's been epidemics. Cause he named off about four or five times that they town been through some shit like that. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So this, uh, this is a normal occurrence. Is this the swamp trying to basically reclaim her land? And that could be what it is. So... The swamp is her own entity. It's some supernatural shit going on with baby girl. When I say baby girl, if you hear me say baby girl, I'm talking about the swamp. So, yeah. Now, Abby meets Alex and all this stuff. And she kind of brushed him off at first. You know, she like, you know, he just here. He's crazy. He just going to be like a net that I'm going to have to swap because he get on my nerve. But, He's telling her, like, listen, I got some tea. I got some shit to show you. And basically, it really became prominent that she, that he might know something. When her and her, a, a childhood friend of hers, this cop, who is gorgeous. Because when he stepped out that car, I was like this. Hello. Ooh, you cute. <laughs> and you was a cutie. They walk up in the house of the young girl that in the beginning of the episode, she fell sick. And that was the reason why Abby had got called back. But it's kind of peculiar how out of all the CDC doctors that they got, Abby was the one that was picked to come back home. See, it's reasons for shit. We're going to find out about that later, hopefully, in a later upcoming episode. So, they go through the house. And you see the house is certain spots on furniture walls and stuff you see that swamp scum and you see like vines you know spouting out growing and stuff so they go upstairs they go to a room and you see this huddle figure sewing right this is me oh my god that's the daddy the daddy is sewing off his leg because his leg got infested and that's exactly what i was thinking y'all i was like over here like oh my god he is cutting off his leg. But no, that wasn't it. That was Dr. Alex. He was cutting off a piece of wood that had that weird shit on it. And while he got his hands up trying to tell the cop, listen, bruh, bruh, I, I, listen, I mean no harm, but you might need to focus your attention to the bathroom. And there we saw the daddy. It's that same scene that, that they show in the trailers, right? Uh, this dude with this vine coming out of his mouth it's stuck to the wall he's looking in the mirror and you see the vines coming out of everywhere probably come out of every orifice or hole that he got and all that and it's just 
buy the horror. Listen, the buy the horror up in this episode is every damn thing. You hear me? That's why I say, that's why I'm saying it's a love letter to John Carpenter's The Thing. And I'm talking about the old thing, not the prequel thing, not that mess. Old thing, Kirk Russell thing. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Kirk Russell. His thing. That. So, they see that. They go. And, you know, Abby has the body taken to the, back to the hospital so she can do some autopsy, cut on it, and see what the hell going on. And so, Alex, he basically like, listen, let me show you what I got in my crib. You know what I'm saying? So, she goes there, and he pulls up this vial, and it basically, this yellow stuff, and he said the top part of it is swamp water. Don't worry about that. What you need to pay attention to is that yellow stuff. And he basically said he think he done found a new mutagen that uh, basically got everything that can run, run amok. And so, he got this incubator cage thing and with some Spanish moss. And he said, peep this. So, he put, drip a little of that yellow stuff onto the moss. And next thing you know, that stuff started growing. Started going up the side of the cage. And I'm like this, y'all, y'all just still live watching this mud. Don't y'all hear the glass cracking? Is y'all gonna kill this song gun or not before it come and basically do whatever it want to you? And they was able to kill it. And he basically said, something is going on. Something is going on. Something crazy. So, here's the scene where I'll say... Whoever directed this, you basically saying, Dear John Carpenter, I love you. The thing was my inspiration. It would made me want to direct horror. Well no, I'm a, here's my best here's my best offering I could give to you, John Carpenter, just to show you how much I love you. It was that got that autopsy type of thing. And when I tell you, I was looking at it, especially when the vines coming out that mouth, crack over the neck, and then it was like a pull of the neck, and I was like, is the ne- head going to fall off, sprout little vine legs, and tick 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 go, that's all I was thinking. I was like, is we, are you going to go that far? Now, while that was happening, Abby and Alex on the computer across the room looking at whatever. The daughter, the little girl, she woke up, start pulling the wires off of her, and she was making her way downstairs. Now, the little girl and what was happening to her father's corpse is connected. They connected some kind of fucking way. And I'm thinking it has something to do with the vines and the swamp and all of that. Some kind of psychic connection, if you want, if you will. So... I'm surprised. I don't know how y'all didn't hear that bone and flesh turn. How y'all not to hear that? Next thing you know, the body sits up, neck like this, and whatever coming out the motherfucking side, it latches onto the ceiling. And I was like, can y'all please turn around and pay attention? Y'all got the monster. Literally behind y'all, and y'all don't hear none of that. Next thing you know, the daughter scream. They turn around. They're like, oh, shit. And the daddy corpse look at the little girl. And it's like it's comfort look at the girl to find it, y'all. She don't find it. She's like, I'm over it. And she falls to the floor. And so, Abby makes a thug decision. She makes a boss move and runs to get the girl. Picks up the girl. And next thing you know, them vines start shooting out them, out them windows. At Abby with the little girl, I like, oh my god, oh my god. Even though I knew nothing was gonna happen to Abby, she the goddamn star of the show. But still, so Alice he finds a way to kill it with fire, as I say with all things, kill it with fire. That's what Alice does. So they like, what the heck is going on? We gotta go to the swamp or whatever. So. They go to this uh joint called Daryl's. Joints like that was everybody know about 
you know the neighborhood there you drink eat all that stuff i call that holes in the wall down here we call it holes in the wall go to a juke joint a hole in the wall whatever so when they make it there there's a woman sitting on the back of us you know up top and you know they're like who is that everybody already says that's xanadu that's man xanadu and i'm like yes i can't wait i can't wait walk in there's another childhood friend homegirl maria stein from channel zeros the third season off topic fuck you sci-fi fuck you for not renewing channel zero fuck you i knew as soon as y'all put that stunt on how y'all was debuting how y'all was dropping the third season a sci-fi i knew y'all gonna pull a stunt i knew it was gonna get canceled kind of like why in the hell is y'all doing it like this why y'all want to pick this for y'all to do that best so fuck you sci-fi okay back to dc universe all right so they get there and then marie shows up maria shows up that's the mama and we hear all that mess that i had talked about earlier because she really hates eddie she really hates eddie real for real but as as i said before when every motherfucker said tells alex listen i killed the i like well marie got a reason want the motherfucker shank you you know so they leave there and they head back they decide they go in the swamp and see what's what 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 so when they go in the swamp and try to figure out what's going on they find a uh i ain't gonna i want to say canister but like this a uh, case that has the same vials but it has a release thing so whoever it is is intentionally putting that poison into the swamp now the way i'm hearing well basically the way we see how it's going down the swamp really didn't need no help because the swamp is her own beast baby girl is her own beast but man-made shit come in fuck it up and make it worse than what it already is so they make it back to you know alex's motherfucking uh, crib and that's what we hear about you know alex basically you know tampered with some test results and alex like listen i already know what i you know i janked it up yeah on not on accident on purpose because i know i can find a way to prove it and we find out about you know ever said she killed the best friend Woo. so Alice decide he gonna go back in the swamp. He said we gotta find that laptop, cause that laptop is the basically the proof they need. And I bet you money that laptop ties where well, was going on to the Sutherlands to Avery old snake oil looking ass. So Alice goes out there and Alice gets shot. He get boop boop boop. That nigga dies. Well he dying. He gets in the water. Now, Abby, now, in the comic books, I want to say Abby's supposed to be, supposed to have empathy. She's supposed to have some kind of empathy. No, she an empath or whatever. Supposed to be. So, for what I remember. So, I'm wondering. Listen, your last name is Arcane. You got to have some kind of juju with you if your last name is Arcane. It don't make no sense. It's a waste of a night if your your ass can't do something. So I'm thinking that you know she should something should pop off. Hopefully we'll see it. Cause I'm trying to remember when that scene something was telling her to go out and go find Alex or whatever. Now when that scene happened, I was on the phone. Well, whatever. So here's the main thing right this is the main thing i want to talk about now all the other times you know the vines the swamp basically uh show her ass baby girl show her ass but when alice got shot and he was in the water baby girl didn't show didn't show malice to alice you saw how gentle the vines basically wrapped around him right and basically they were like lowering him 
gently in the water and then the vines start going in but it was almost like motherly like in a sense you get what i'm saying so abby comes and basically you know she's looked around she don't know what alice said sees his boat boat look jank and all that and here come the vines the vines come for her, right they knock off her boat she's swimming she's going to uh to some sort of land and there go bro man from the beginning he all uh like that and vines just coming out of his mouth and nigga i said like, hey. whatever but bruh though you saw the vines were coming for it but then they retreated and here i was like this okay bitch give it to me here it come here it come and out come the, out from the muck crawl swamp thing y'all i i was like y'all gonna give us swamp thing at the end but y'all did right y'all did right we finally saw swamp thing and she saw that bug and choop, chuck the deuces and haul ass which baby girl i don't blame you God, I'm blaming. I'd have been a holler at you, girl. I said, mm-mm. Nope. 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 And he looks glorious. From right here, from what we saying, he looks glorious. Red eyes and all, he looks glorious. Yes, y'all. DCU. DCU, I don't know what to tell you. Y'all showing y'all ass for real. But I do, I do know what to uh, tell Titans. Titans, get your shit together. Two shows done whooped your ass. And the second show, Swamp Thing, only got one episode in. And basically done stunk your ass to dust. Particles of dust. Minuscule. Dust particles so small, you got to look under a microscope. Because Doom Patrol already done killed you and ran your ass over. And Swamp Thing said, let me get the rest. I got this. Swamp Thing resurrected your ass real quick and stumped you and killed you again. Come on, bro. Listen, season two got to come with it. Y'all got to come with it. Y'all can't let the other shows outdo y'all now. Because Doom Patrol, you know, people know Doom Patrol, but Doom Patrol ain't got no big, you know, big following or anything like Titans. You know, Doom Patrol is like a cult following. We love who we love. And then Swamp Thing, kind of like in the same aspect. Motherfuckers remember Swamp Thing from the movies and all that stuff. And they remember from the comic books or whatever. But it still has a cult following. And you know, cult followers, we love who we love. Titans. Get your shit together. Season 2. Baby, off the fucking chain. That's all I'm saying. Like, share, subscribe, leave comments down below, and I'm going to holler at y'all whenever.